First, what and why of the single entry system? What is single entry system? Basically, there is no system. <clears throat> single entry is not a system. It is unsystematic. When you do not have double entry, it is said to be single entry. So there is no double entry. There is no format. There is no standard. I repeat, there is no system under single entry. When informally some kinds of records are maintained, it is called single entry. <clears throat> so it is unsystematic. Why do we say unsystematic? It is possible that a person who has only cash transactions records all his cash inflows and outflows in a book. Another person may have a cash account and he may also have money with the bank. So he operates a bank account. Therefore, he depends on both the bank statement or the bank passbook as well as the cash book, cash records that he maintains. Another person who lends who, who, who gives uh, customers credit or who purchases on credit will also need to keep certain records of these debtors and his creditors, of the people from whom, of the customers from whom he has to get money and of the people to whom he has to pay. <clears throat> Therefore, there is no particular system. People, they are just incomplete records. They may not always be accurate because finally when we try to arrive at a profit from incomplete records, the profit arrived at need not be accurate. It could be an estimate. <clears throat> so single entry is nothing but informal record keeping. It is used by small business units, sole proprietorships who do not have a large scale of business. The advantage is that it is extremely simple to operate and of course inexpensive. So I repeat a single entry system is not really a system at all. Single entry is when double entry system is not followed, it is said to be single entry. It is unsystematic, not accurate and incomplete set of bookkeeping, set of accounts maintained. <clears throat> Therefore, what are its features? Incomplete record of accounts. Unlike in the double entry system, complete accounts are not maintained. We do not have a, they may not maintain a purchase account, sales account, rent account, advertisement account, etc, etc, etc. Some records for cash, normally cash, bank and personal accounts, if required, of debtors and maybe creditors is what is maintained. <coughs> No distinction between personal and business expenses and income. This happens because the proprietor who is running, running the business, whenever he withdraws money from the business, it just gets recorded. The amount of cash balance becomes less. His expenses and the expenses of the business may not be distinguished because the separate expense accounts are anyway not maintained. <clears throat> Therefore, from this incomplete and inaccurate record keeping, informal record keeping, the profit when it is arrived at, it is only an estimate. It is only an estimate. So single entry, there is an incomplete record of accounts. There is no system as such, not uniform, no particular rules. Normally cash bank and certain personal accounts are maintained. The distinction between the personal and business expenses, that means the personal expenses or incomes of the proprietor and that of the business may not be distinguished. It may get all mixed up in the books and the records that are maintained under single entry. And profit may be only an estimate. <clears throat> However, what are the advantages of a single entry? It is extremely simple. It is very easy to maintain. Only cash flows are recorded. Bank statement, bank passbook gives us the details of the bank transactions. Only if money is owed to somebody, need a personal accounts be maintained. Only if money is receivable from customers, need customers accounts be prepared. So it becomes extremely simple, easy to maintain, not time consuming. 
unlike in the in the double entry system where initially they are all recorded in the books of original entry then they are posted to the ledger then we draw up a trial balance <coughs> etc it's this kind of time is not required for maintaining accounts under single entry as a result since the resources used are less time consumed is less we don't need a qualified accountant to keep these accounts it is far more economical therefore it is used by small business units with small operations where the proprietor has complete control over the transactions however what are the disadvantages the disadvantages would be that since there is no double entry and there is no trial balance <coughs> the arithmetical accuracy of the books cannot be checked if you remember under double entry system the trial balance the trial balance served the trial balance served as a check for arithmetical accuracy that is no longer possible under single entry profit or loss is only an estimate similarly there is no proper valuation of assets we don't have a fee for method or a lee for method of valuing any entry <clears throat> frauds and errors may not be detected suppose i am a proprietor running a small business unit i have a drawer a cash box where money comes in money is taken out if i have a person helping me and he makes off with some of the cash for that day i may not even be aware of the money which is which is which has been lost <clears throat> similarly borrowing from financial institutions is not possible if financial institutions will lend money if i need a borrowing from a bank i have to show them proper accounts maintained under double entry system the informal system of record keeping under single entry will not help me get loans from financial institutions and of course as we discussed in the features there's no distinction between business and personal transactions the owners transactions and the business expenses the business transactions get mixed up may get mixed up since proper distinction is not made the proprietor uses the cash for his own expenses also for the expenses of the business <clears throat> these in brief would be the disadvantages of a single entry system